Good morning, social cam. Okay, been on here in a while. I'll be working night shift now. Started March the 1st. Uh, need you to be praying for me and my family. And uh, pray that my workplace where I work at here in Murfreesboro uh, become a safe workplace because it's carbon monoxide all in the air because the machines uh, that are used uh, to produce um, plastic parts, some kind of stuff, I don't know, but I want to ask you to please uh, agree with me in prayer that God will fix that. But uh, I want to read uh, 1 John chapter 1 and just talk on it a little bit and pray to God add a blessing to this reading. And, um, okay, here I go. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, <coughs> excuse me, and we have seen it and bear witness and shew unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him. And declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our, of, forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. And this chapter is talking about that whenever we sin, whatever it is, sexual sins, cussing, anything uh, that displeases God, anything we do that the word tells us not to do, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is saying here, Jesus is saying, if we confess our sins, if we repent, that he will forgive us and he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness, no matter what it is. And I thank God for Jesus Christ. He made this possible. Back in the Old Testament when Moses was about leading the children of Israel, when they sinned, when they broke God's commandments, they were stoned. They had uh, many different punishments handed down to them if they sinned. I guess maybe it's because grace wasn't uh, during that time. I guess I'm not for sure, but I just know because Jesus Christ, we have mercy. We have grace now. That's why he died for us on the cross. That's why he shed his blood. So whenever we sin. He's made a way for us to have our sins forgiven. It's one scripture somewhere in the Bible that says, uh, uh, though our sins may be uh, red as scarlet, but God will make them white as snow. And it's another one somewhere I think says he will cast them far in the sea of forgiveness. But every day, I'm not perfect myself. Because uh, uh, chapter 8 says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. I believe, I guess, uh, all of us that are born, when uh, when a person gets born, we have that sinful nature. I guess that comes from Adam and Eve, you know, and uh, sometimes I'm not perfect myself. I'm saved, and I'm Holy Ghost filled, and I believe in Jesus Christ. But it's been times I mess up, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. But I don't linger all day long, like if I messed up during the morning or the night before, not intentionally, I hurry up and ask Jesus to please forgive me of my sins because that's something I don't want to uh, to play around with. A lot of times the devil can come and make 
you think that, well, you messed up again this time, God ain't going to forgive you, or you done messed up too much, uh, just always go to God for forgiveness. Always go to God in prayer. Ask him to send the comforter which the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Ghost, because when the Holy Ghost will come upon you, you won't want to do those things that displeases God, not intentionally. You know, um, say like uh, somebody might uh, stump their toe and they act, might accidentally say the wrong thing. I mean, I don't do it. I mean, somebody might do that or something like that, anything. But anything that displeases God is a sin. So I just wanted to talk about that this morning. Like I said, I hadn't been on here in a while. I've been working third shift. So I pray uh, that you will keep me in your prayers, and I pray that this little reading and Bible talk will be a blessing to you. And pray that you got something out of it. Remember, if you sin, you can go to Jesus and get forgiveness, and he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He will throw it in the sea of forgiveness. And your sins might be red as scarlet, but he can make them white as snow. And I pray that you have a blessed day. God bless you, whatever you stand in the need of, that he will touch your home, your family, your finances, and uh, he will forgive us all of our sins, and he will uh, save all our unsaved loved ones. In Jesus' name, y'all have a blessed day. Amen.